He's very fragile. I'm a woman, but okay, I'll get off your tree. It's National Arbor Day after all. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful Sky. Thanks for getting down. No problem. We gotta respect the trees. The bright blessed day. The dark sacred night. Part TV starts now. I think to myself. What a wonderful Good morning, Art. I'm Jackson. And I'm Diego. Today is Friday, April 28th. And today we are celebrating National Arbor Day. What's an arbor? Uh, arbor is the Latin word for a tree. Why don't they just call it National Tree Day? If the world were that easy, my friend, we'd all be sitting on top of it. Huh. Fair enough. Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's your weekend weather update. Good morning, Hart. Here's your weekend weather update. Today will be a high of 90, with a low of 52. It will be sunny. Tomorrow will be a high of 92, and a low of 56. It will be cloudy. Then on Sunday, it will be a high of 85, and a low of 57. It will also be cloudy. Thank you, and that was our weekend weather update. This is Rowan Tami reporting for Heart TV. Back to you guys in the studio. Seniors, wake up and pay attention. This is about you. Seniors, listen up. This Monday, May 1st is decision day. If you are going to a four-year college, you must let them know by Monday. If you are accepted to other four-year colleges, let them know you're not coming so they can free your space for someone on the waiting list. If you need a seven semester transcript, Monday is the last day you can request one. Go to the Class of 2023 web pages and scroll down to Request Transcript. All seniors must complete a FAFSA. If you don't think you need one, then you must fill out an opt form in the counseling office. All seniors must complete a senior survey. That should be in your Google Classroom. Thank you. If you can't find it, ask your English teacher. If you know where you are going to college, tell the counseling secretary so she can put a heart heart on the window for you. If you have any questions, see Ms. Monteleone, Mr. Novak, or Ms. Noriega in the counseling office. Finish strong. We'll be back right after this. I need to go to the bathroom. Has this ever been you? <laughs> well, I know it's in me. Gosh. Well, I just wanted to ask, why are we making war when we can make peace? Please don't do any silly business in the bathroom. It's not okay. Especially for a senior like me when I'm trying to use the restroom and I really have to go and the bathroom's locked and I have to walk around all of campus and try to find a bathroom that's not locked. It's just not funny or cool. So, I mean, whoever's doing it, all I gotta say is, stop. Thanks. Hard on the street went out to find out something about the trees? Hey Hart, in honor of Arbor Day, we are going to be interviewing some of Hart's oldest and tallest residents. This is Is Arbor Day like a birthday to you or is it more of like a Hanukkah or Christmas type situation? I mean, being unrestricted by laws and everything, would you say you're as a as tree as a bird? Your bark looks pretty rough. Would you ever consider using lotion? That's just the way it is. Wow, this 
This is really special, guys. Do you guys feel lucky, you know, having such nice brotherly love? It's my brother. Anyway, happy Arbor Day, Hart, and happy Arbor Day to all the trees out there. Mm. I'm Ryder, and this has been there is unrest in the forest. And now, the news. Track and field compete in the league finals against Saugus at COC. The first heat is at 2. Are you interested in taking sports medicine next year? Come to room T101 today at lunch for an informational meeting. Heart Theater presents, and then there were none, a dramatic production of Agatha Christie's Who Done It Masterpiece, tonight at 7 p.m. and tomorrow at 2 and 7 p.m. in the Heart Auditorium. Don't miss it. Come out to the star party tonight from 7.30 to 10 p.m. at COC's Kane Country Campus. There will be high-powered telescopes for viewing, activities, and demonstrations for all ages. Don't miss it. Today is the last day to drop off your gently worn, used, and new shoes for the HPO Shoe Drive to the front office. You can also bring your donated shoes to the Heart drive through drop-off tomorrow morning between 9 and 11 a.m. Thank you for your generosity. Heart Cross Country will be holding two athlete parent meetings for students interested in competing next fall. The first is on Thursday, May 4th at 7 p.m. in room S5. For those who cannot attend the May 4th day, a second meeting will be held on Thursday, May 18th at 7 p.m. also in S5. Clubs. Amigos Unidos Latinos Club meets today at lunch in room E4. The Young Americans for Freedom Club is meeting today at lunch in room M5. Everyone is welcome. Film Club meets today at lunch in room F11. New members are welcome. Come check out Super Smash Bros. Club today at lunch in room T203. Please bring your own controllers if possible. Speech and Debate Club is meeting on Monday at lunch in Miss Nishioka's room F43. Please join us. New members are welcome. Now it's time for today's quote of the day. Between every two pines is a doorway to a new world. John Muir. Well, that's it for our show. Don't forget that today is the last day of National Library Week. So if you haven't thanked our wonderful librarians yet, what are you waiting for? Do it. Have a great Arbor Day. And stay, stay classy, classy, heart. I've been waiting to smile.